looking for you, Lone Star. Listen, Tinkerbell, unless you got more cash for new clients, I'm busy. You don't deserve our money. Cut you in. 5%. 25. Take it or leave it. Welcome to the Dallas Buyers Club. What's going on, my man? I'm, dig I'm digging the jacket, man. You're Thanks, coming, you're coming man. Coming with mad style, but Thanks. I, I want to first ask you, how, how's the band and the music going? It's great. It's fantastic. We uh, we've been touring nonstop, and and we put a new album out called Love, Lust, Faith, and Dreams a couple of months ago. Uh, but in the music's been going so great for so many years. I, I didn't make a film for five or six years. So know? I want to ask you this then. How does the music help you as an actor? How does going on stage as a musician help you when you're in front of the camera doing your thing? It's a great question uh, because it's completely different and it's it's almost the total opposite. You know, when you're uh, in, in, in the camera, in front of the camera and you're, you're playing a part, uh, it's all about nuance. It's about subtext. Uh, and that's not necessarily what it's about on stage. Sometimes on stage, uh, you're communicating with, with, with you know, people that are up in the nosebleeds. You know, you're doing something that's completely different, but it all comes from the same place. It's oh, all cool. creativity. Very nice, nice. Now, the majority of this movie, practically all of this movie, takes place in the 80s. When you think 80s, what's the first thing that pops in your head? Oh, living in Haiti. Uh, I remember I lived in Haiti. I had a, a little boom box. I had like three cassettes. Somehow I ended up with a Michael Jackson thriller, okay? Which everybody had, yeah, everybody had that album. Uh, and I remember I put it in and I pushed play and every kid within three blocks ran to the music and started doing backflips. It was like, <laughs> it was like, it was like a drug. It was incredible, the music was so infectious. That's what I think about. So how did you use that experience or, the, or that time from the 80s and use that to help process you for this role? Well, it was interesting to step back in time. You know, I grew up in the 80s. It was a really, you know, important time in my life. Uh, and I think, you know, this film, you can't take the film away from the time that it was set in because... What well, a time frame is the yeah. most important element though. Yeah, in a way it is because back then, you know, you got AIDS, you died. It was a death sentence. Uh, you got AIDS, you didn't have proper medication. So uh, it's, it's exactly about what was going on during this time, you know? So things have changed certainly for the better. Uh, but these, this is a group of people hell-bent on surviving, and I've, I found that to be an incredibly inspiring story. How old are you, or what do you remember where you were when you first really found out what the impact of HIV and AIDS was like on people. I remember being on the East Coast and in cities like Philly and New York and DC and uh, and everyone being scared. Uh, people being scared and thinking, not knowing what it is. What is this thing? Are we all gonna get it? You know, is is again as really we thought it was going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and it was terrifying. You know, uh, you know, I knew people that died of uh, the disease. And uh, it was certainly, a, and is still a horrendous, horrendous plague. Do you like this dress? Because I think the neckline's a little plunging. Rayon, the whole purpose of this study is to determine if ACT is helping people. Come on, Amy, you know there ain't no help in me. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying. Why are you so good to me? Bless your little heart. Just promise me you'll show up for the rest of the trial. I promise you that I will try my very best. I want you to mean that. Okay. What was the most challenging part of getting to that space of the character that you bring to life so brilliantly in the movie? Thank you so much. I The most challenging part was probably the inside stuff. It wasn't losing the weight. It wasn't, you know, putting on the heels or waxing my entire body and eyebrows. It, but it was the inside. It was the inside job. Fantastic, man. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate the thank energy you. in the interview, man. Yeah, of course. Digging it, man. Yeah, thank and you. you. did dig the performance a lot. So thank you. Congratulations.